Stock Island, Old Key West is alive and well. According to locals, Stock Island today is the way Key West used to be. In the 70s and 80s, this was a place that typically a lot of the Key Westers did not come often unless they have specific business here. It's not that case any longer. It is, there's a lot of people here. It's very much a working waterfront. A lot of artists surround and surround the area. One of my favorites on Stock Island is Bobby Mangelli's Hogfish Bar and Grill. You can sit at picnic tables right on the waterfront and enjoy fresh fish in a relaxing atmosphere. Well, the hogfish has been up here about 10 years. We came up from, uh, we had a business in Key West. Key West is becoming a little bit commercialized. We wanted to find a place, a little hole in the wall, off the beaten path. We found this little hole in the wall and we completely rebuilt it and we named it the Hogfish Barn Grill after the best fish in the Keys. You know, I used to go spear fishing when I was young, so we started serving hogfish as an exclusive fish sandwich. I stopped in to ask Bobby to show me how he makes his killer hogfish sandwich. Hi, Bobby. Hey, Linda. Good Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Guess what I'm here for? Hogfish sandwich. Your killer hogfish sandwich. All right, I'm going to make you a really nice sandwich, Linda. All right, I'm waiting to see what's in it. All right, let's start off with the hogfish. That's a nice, fresh hogfish right here. Oh, okay? beautiful. Okay, what I start is just a little salt and pepper seasoning. Okay. Okay, both sides. Mm -hmm. Just bread, just a little bit of flour to start off with, all right? Okay, now we're here. We have the sweet buttermilk. Ah. Okay? Yeah. And into the panko. Are, so this is like Japanese, Japanese bread breadcrumbs. Crumbs. Make it nice and yeah. crispy. You're really patting that bread yeah, into it. You want to make sure that sure. bread in yeah. gets absorbed into that buttermilk. Okay. Mm. And what it does, it opens up the fish. See now that filet? Look at that filet now. How big that filet's gotten just from doing the bread. See how nice oh, it looks so, now? Yeah, it absorbs. Right. It's so absorbed. we're going to go over to the fryer now. Okay. And we lay that fryer right down in here. We're going to serve this hogfish sandwich, this killer hogfish sandwich, on Cuban bread. Toasted Cuban bread. Toasted but Cuban any bread. Any kind of uh, long roll could be used for it. Well, you can use a long roll. You can use an Amorosa roll or a hoagie roll. But uh -huh. down here, we got a Cuban, Cuban thing bread. going on. Yeah. We're so close to Cuba, we use the Cuban bread. This is yeah. what makes it killer right here. Those look like they've been sort of sautéed in advance. Yeah, we got these sautéed in advance. A little yeah. mushroom. Uh-huh. A little pre-cooked. Oh, these are pre-cooked a little bit. And what we're going to do is put one little piece of cheese on each one. Kind of so gives it a nice little creamy flavor. Nice so lettuce. So there's no mayonnaise or anything on there? No mayonnaise because no, we use our own tartar sauce. Oh, all right. All right? Yep. Oh, beautiful. Nice and golden. Just looking great. See, that's the thing about fresh breading. When you fresh bread something, it always comes out nice, you know? And a lot of these places probably try to pre-bread stuff. It comes out, and they, but when you so fresh you bread last something, minute. You, last you, when you fresh bread, it always looks fresh bread. It always looks that homemade look, uh -huh. you know? So that's what we like to do. So we always have our breading station always set up ready to go. There's our first one going down. Oh, Watch looking out. good. Second one going down. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, this is how we make it killer now. All right. Just like that. That's killer. And it smells so good. That's a killer hog right there. A little sweet homemade tartar sauce so right there. What goes into the sweet homemade tartar sauce? Sweet relish. Uh-huh. Carrot. Well, carrot. Carrot. Onion. Cooked or just chopped. Good mayonnaise. Yeah. Just, just chopped up carrot. Just chopped up carrot, but there's a little relish in there? Yeah, there? sweet relish. Sweet uh -huh. relish and a little onion. So there you have it, Linda. Wow. There you I have. can't wait to dig into this, but I don't know how. <laughs> we'll go outside how do you dig and we'll into this? <laughs> All right, let's go. go. You got your killer hogfish sandwich right there.